how do you surf the boat? Well, the bowman's going to pull in his oars and he's going to jump to the bow of the boat. He's going to actually sit on it. And at that point, you become a bit of a surfer and you're going to try and help surf that boat in. A lot of times that boat will get sideways on the wave and both competitors you'll see diving out trying to steer clear of the boat and the oars and the oar locks and everything involved. Not the safest sport, but definitely rewarding and very valuable and a historic tool of our lifeguarding trade. Before there were skis, before there were boards, there were rescue boats. And we honor that tradition with this dory boat race yeah, if you got gas and a jet ski, you could, you could find fast ways out, but this is the old tried and true. And again, handling these boats show incredible skill. And if you're able to navigate three laps on a dory course, it's quite an accomplishment. These dory boats have to be in the 500 pound range. They gotta be that heavy so they don't flip. And there's the start. You could see the crew member has already jumped in. And it's the job of the person in the back to push the boat, get a little bit of acceleration before you jump in. Now it's all about timing. Two people paddling fast, not in sync, does not go nearly as fast as two people in sync. If you're in sync and everything's clicking, this boat race is a joy to watch. If things are going bad, it looks like chopsticks being thrown in the air. And yes, this is a very exciting race when it's done and held right next to a cement pier. Seen it. I seen splinters. Boom, crash, bang, splinters. Huntington Beach Pier, Dory Race, uh-oh. So no pier to navigate here today, but plenty of boats, plenty of oars. And again, with, with the paddle boards, you can bump and rub arms. These boats don't like bumping or rubbing oars. You can get caught up and uh, it can get really easy to go from a good race to a nightmare quick. So all of our boats giving plenty of room to their fellow competitors until they don't. It's all fun and games till it's time to get competitive. Our boats making their way out to what I presume is an apex course. They're going to go around clockwise as one of our other paddle race just begins. I wasn't able to actually hear the course description, so we'll have to wait and watch this first boat Looks like PT2 out to an early lead. They're being closely chased. One must wonder, is Mitch Buchanan and Kelly Slade paddling because I did see, or rowing, because I saw the Baywatch boat. Kelby Trisick, one of the crew members, Team Baywatch. He's a local Carpenterian. Grew up here. Now he's charging regionals right here, same beach. And as you can see, those paddleboarders starting to drift into the line of the Dory members. I was thinking it was, you know, a good call as far as like timing was good. But a couple of our tail tail paddlers are going to have to negotiate. 
kind of like paddling through the shipping lanes. Anybody who's paddled has encountered something like that. If you hear a loud foghorn and you're paddling, you are not stoked. So our Dory members and the leaders making their way around the course successfully. They're heading to the inside. They're going to hit this surf line. All things are going to change. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Will it be ugly? The good, the bad, and the ugly all about to take place. Depending on which team you ask, I guarantee there's going to be a little bit of all. Look at our lead Look at our lead paddlers, how in unison they are. Watch the boat surge, surge. That's how you surge into these oncoming swells. You can see first and second building a lead, third right on their heels. First place getting a little bit of a run right here. We're going to get a chance to see them surf. They twist it up sideways. Maybe they're going for a little re-entry. Well managed right there as the second wave twisted them back into position. So they're going to get off, run up the beach around their designated flag or cross the line. Looks like James Bray, fresh off his paddleboard final. They're in the lead. Is that the PT2 boat? And now this is where it gets interesting. Our leaders will head out through the surf line as third, fourth, fifth kind of come in. And this is where you hope you don't hear wood to wood. It's not a good sign. There's a, there's a, there's a crunch and a crackle and a snap. And it's, it, it can be ugly, but it also can be beautiful. You can see the beautiful side right now as all of our boats successfully making their way around. And it looks like our paddle race final happening right here as our women bring it home looking strong. A lot of incredible female athletes down here on the beach. And they're showing why they can do it with the big boys. And it looks like same leader. They'll go opposite course. So they're going to do three laps. They've already done one. They're heading out on their second. They'll reverse the course and then do it again. PT2 claiming that second spot. Were they clairvoyant? Maybe they should have named their boat PT1. How many more jokes can I go off of the same one? PT2 in second. Where's the Baywatch boat? Should I hum the theme song? Would that help them? I think that's the start. It's kind of like a dramatic start. Cause I'm always ready. I won't let you out of my sight. No. I'll be ready. Love that song. Baywatch is in fourth. See, did that move him up? That little hum, that little hymn dinger. Baywatch boat currently in fifth. PT2 holding on to the second spot. Who do we got in the lead? Boat five. We'll change their name to boat one if they can finish this thing out. A big commitment. A lot of boats require sponsors. If you're looking to sponsor a boat, talk to one of the dorymen. Actually, talk to the winners. You can probably... Get your company name wrapped on that boat and they'll promote it all summer long. Hermosa Beach for years, they had the good stuff boat. Good stuff, a fine breakfast establishment right across the street from the pier. And I know they they left the they left the uh, dory boat right out in front of the restaurant, gave them a lot of press. Baywatch moved up. They're making moves. Baywatch is making moves. Is J David Chochachki on the boat? I 
I love David Hasselhoff's work. His work in Baywatch was pretty good, but eating that burger is my favorite one. Or maybe when he sung on top of uh, the Berlin Wall when it was coming down. Yes, that's who they chose, David Hasselhoff, to sing when they broke down the Berlin Wall. PT2 still currently in second. Our lead boat, boat number five. So again, this is a second of three laps. All of our boats fairly close considering. But again, this is where it gets exciting because our lead boats will come in. They'll exit the boat. One of the competitors will exit the boat, run up around a cone or a line, and then back into the boat. When they shove off heading back out to sea and all the boats behind them are heading in on waves, that's where the excitement comes down. And our first lead boat up in the mix, and it looks like PT2 has caught themselves a bit of a run. They're going to come up the beach not far behind, so heading into that third lap, 1-2 has now come within an earshot of each other. Who knows what they're yelling at each other. They haven't been close enough to have any, you know, competitive banter, but now we got a barn burner. First and second, within a boat's length of one another. Third coming in. Ooh, look at our two boats here. One of them got sideways. Great negotiation from our fifth place boat to avoid hitting uh, the fourth place competitor. So well navigated by all of our boat captains. Looks like no loud snap, crackle, pop. Wood hitting wood does not sound good. Those are expensive boats too. And they, like I said, I'm guessing I'm at about 500 pounds. They're about 20 feet long, 500 pounds. And it takes a couple of studs to push those things around. Yes, the women will be doing the dory boats too. And they... They are very good at it. They also contend this event in the American Ironman race where one person by themselves uh, manages that boat all the way around the course. Baywatch now moving up into a battle for fourth. Fourth, fifth, Baywatch. I wonder when they're doing their training sessions, how many people sing that same song that I did to them or compare them to Hasselhoff. Probably a lot. Baywatch did a lot for our sport career. Yeah, good and bad, but for the most part, it brought great awareness to lifeguarding. Not necessarily how serious it can be, because some of those episodes were funny. Like the one Hasselhoff snorkeled underneath the sand. I think that's impossible. So our lead boat kind of put it down on PT2. They're putting the pedal to the metal. PT2 came up within striking range, but then it seems like the wind came out of their sails, so to speak. They've dropped a couple couple boat lengths back. Again, the surf line coming in. It's not easy to negotiate, but one, two. Look like they have a lock on those spots. Three is a bit separated, but four and five are hotly contested. It looks like Baywatch is going to round that buoy in fifth. So they've still got some ground to make up on fourth. Open women, top eight. 
Open women, top eight from each of the qualifying heats. That's open women paddle race finalists. Please head back to the Marshall tent where you can draw lanes and officially get yourself into that final. So the eight qualifiers from both women's fin or semifinalists, please report. And our, our Dory Boats making their final passageway in. PT2 looks like they got a little bit of gas left in the tank. PT1 looks like they may have they may be running on Elvis. Are they running on Elvis? PT2 with a little bit of a run and they watched it go up and over. Looks like our lead boat, boat number five, gonna try and get as much as they can out of that run. They don't get it, which means PT2 is still in the mix. PT2 hard charging, trying to take out boat number five, but boat number five is gonna take this wave. They're gonna try and surf this thing in. If successful, they will take home the title. So boat number five coming home, bringing it in. PT2, that looks like James Bray defending his title along with his partner. A well-navigated race for that team. And it looks like PT2 putting on a great performance. Coming up with a silver medal. And look at our third place team rallying this thing home. Look how much speed they got on that run. And it looks like they might have a little bit of a third place victory run on the inside. Let's see if they can surf this boat successfully. Nice re-entry from our third place finishers. Fourth, fifth. Looks like Baywatch going to finish fifth. Nice show of surfing from all of our Bory, Dory Boat competitors. Again, not an easy thing to do on these 20 foot long, two person manned surf craft. They are very difficult to handle in the surf line and the wind. Brilliant performance from all of our Dory Race competitors. These boats get pushed in the wind and they did great to navigate this lengthy course. Look, nice couple waves. Women's board race finalists, women's board race finalists.